morning everybody it's Martha and welcome to my shabby craft studio um I've been away for a little bit <laughs> uh, not physically gone away but away from YouTube I had cataract surgery on a week ago on Monday seems like forever the struggle is real <laughs> let me just put it that way um, as you can see, I have a beautiful mess on my table, and at the current moment, I am working on some ephemera for a little project that I made. Oy, it's going to be one of those days. And um, so let me pull it together. So this is the um, clutch from a paper bag that Gina at Firefly, the fly, <laughs> spit it out, Martha, the Firefly Studio did, and I absolutely adore Gina. She comes up with brilliant ideas, and I don't know how she does it, but I'm always amazed, and I wanted to give this one a try. I don't do a lot of the things that a lot of other people do, but I did want to give this a try. I'm trying to adjust the light. It's pretty wonky in here this morning. I have light coming in through the windows, but it's not sun sun, but there's sun shining through my sliding glass doors to my left, which create shadows. And my lighting is a little, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> anyway, here's the clutch. And I really like the way it came out. Um, Gina did so this edge closed. I'm trying to keep it open as a little secret pocket in there. I don't know how that's going to wear or how it's going to go. And then this is uh, made from two business envelopes from Junk Mail. And these I, were, I was able to um, save the flaps on them. So it does have to do with putting the two flaps together although I'm pretty sure there's other ways you could do it but this fits into the clutch like thus and then it ties up and I just really adored what Gina did and uh, like I said I wanted to give it a go so um, I will link her tutorial below and if you guys want to see me make another one I'm planning on making a smaller one that will fit into a regular size lunch bag. And I thought I had a whole package of regular size lunch bags, and I don't. I must have found the giant lunch bags. Now these are from Walmart. Um, the ones I have in my drawer I thought were regular lunch bags, and I asked my husband to go buy these last week. And bless his heart he brought home the right things and then I went to look in my drawer to pull out the regular size lunch bags and guess what they are also giant size <laughs> so now I have lots and lots of giant size lunch bags <laughs> and I will never use them all but I'll find other projects um yeah that's the way it goes sometimes I'm sorry I dumped a whole bunch of stuff and I have to get it okay so yeah there's that, you know, you end up double buying stuff sometimes. It happens, right? Um, so, the mess that you see on my desk is a the ephemera I'm trying to make for the little journal that goes in this clutch. The papers I used are a mix of Medieval Mirage and the paper, Antique Papery. I think those are the two stacks of paper I used. I also used um, some pages that I was playing around with when I was using napkins and stamps and gesso and ink. Uh, that's about it. And then this is what the inside looks like. This is more of my paper. Um, this is digital, of course and more of my paper and so this side is gessoed it can be written on this side is not and it can be written on as well I hope this is showing up okay 
and so lots of varying sizes in here lots of places to put tucks and to write and to just use the little journal you could carry it in your purse you know backpack <laughs> whatever or leave it at home and just you know play in it when you want um it's not perfect but this was my first one and it was all an experiment I did leave these pockets open. They are pretty difficult to get into, but you can stick a little something in there. I wouldn't stick anything big or heavy in there, but you could slip, you know, something in there if you wanted to. Uh, Gina also glues those shut, and I do have, I don't know how well that's showing up, but see, these are window envelopes. And the next envelopes I'm going to do, and I may do a tutorial when I do it, not a tutorial, a craft with me. Gina already did the tutorial. <laughs> no no need to repeat success, right? I, I couldn't match her success anyway. But um, I may do a craft along with me. But for today, I thought I have not done a video in I think two weeks. And last week it was very wonky and crazy. And I had the surgery on Monday. I had a follow-up appointment on Tuesday, and I had another appointment on Thursday, which normally would have happened this week as a follow-up. But the doctor <clears throat> has gone to Honduras on a charity mission. So I told him just to make sure that he came back safe and sound so he could do my other eye next Monday which I am totally not looking forward to. Oops, that didn't work well at all. Darn it, I don't like this corner rounder. Ugh. So, um, and of course I just want him to come back safely because I wouldn't want anything to happen to him. But there's that. So, yeah, it, it was a real experience and I typically have to wear trifocals. So for the last week, I've been wearing my glasses and I had my right eye done. So I took the right lens out <laughs> and then I don't know if you can see the lines. See the lines? I wear trifocals. So close up, mid distance, like computer and stuff in stores and stuff and then distance. Well, when I put my glasses on, my depth perception <laughs> is really wonky. But my eye, my right eye that I had the surgery on, has not 100% healed. The lens I had put in was a very expensive multifocal lens that the doctor thought probably wasn't the best choice for me. But I told him if I have to, if I'm making things and I have to constantly be putting reading glasses on and off on and off on and off that that would absolutely drive me up a wall and I'd probably kill myself over it because I I don't do well with stuff like that I don't like to to struggle <laughs> I'm too old I have struggled a lot of my life with a lot of medical issues and, and it's not something I, I want to do anymore. So, yeah. So he was he was okay with me choosing the multifocal lens. Um, he did say that I may have to wear readers for very close-up work. And everything is quite blurry, but it's only been a week. And I have a friend who had her eyes done a week before me. So her next surgery is tomorrow. My next surgery on the other eye is next Monday. And today is Monday, uh, November 11th, Veterans Day. So, oops. So a week from today, God willing and the creek don't rise. Um, <clears throat> which, yeah, not looking forward to, but it's got to be done. So... I figured I would just turn on the camera while I'm making this ephemera and we could play together. Now I'm going to 
sew this down the middle here. But my sewing machine is not, my sewing machine is over that way. So I will do that either later or, you know, off camera or whatever. But this little booklet, I was hoping to fit into my, the little, I was going to put it in this pocket here, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to make a bunch of ephemera first, but I thought I'd, I would just put this mini journal right in the front pocket there. And then this one will fit in the back pocket. Now, my idea is, see, that's getting, getting full, but it can handle it. And this, this, you can actually put a bit of, you know, an extra fold in there. And it's got a big enough flap that you can pull it up and give that some extra room. So I'm happy with that, but I'm also gonna put some ephemera in it. I just wanna be careful not to stuff it too full. I'm sorry, my nose itches, and I need a cup of, I mean a sip of tea. Break time, <laughs> tea time. Mm. Thank you for allowing me to do that. So, Last night I was fussing around in here and trying to make some pockets, but I think they're too big. So I think I'm going to cover some of these and make little tuck spots maybe, or, you know, maybe put this on this side and have a little tag sticking out or something. So we're just going to play and I'm going to chit chat. I don't think I'm going to be able to use these. I could make them smaller and I might. <laughs> We'll see. I made a couple of corner corner pockets, but they're going to have to go on a page that's a little bit bigger. Yeah, that'll work. We'll see what comes about. Um, yeah. Yep. So cataract surgery was interesting. I had a lot of people tell me, I hate when I can't figure out which way a paper goes. I guess it actually goes this way. I, I, you know, a lot of people that I know have had it done and everybody said it went so smoothly. <laughs> Mine wasn't exactly what I would call smooth, but uh, most things that I do are not the same as how other people have it turn out. I, I don't know why I seem to struggle with certain things like the entire time he was working on me, I was totally 100% aware. They, they only put you under a very mild uh, general anesthesia, but they do totally numb your eye. Like the, when you go in, you are given eye drops and eye drops and, oops, Martha. See, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I can't see up close. I can't see far away. Right now, I'm not wearing my glasses. I don't know if that's a smart thing or not. Oh, this is funny. So, yep. Um, back to the story. I was given the eye drops. I didn't feel anything on my eye. However, and this may freak some of you out, so... I'm sorry if it does. It's not why I'm doing it. I was totally 100% aware of everything the doctor was doing. And I've had friends tell me they were just laid back and, you know, they knew it was going on, but it didn't cause them any anxiety. So, I, um... I expected things to be quite smooth and that they would, um, put me under enough that I, I really wouldn't be that aware. Well, yeah. Ha ha ha, Martha. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh no. My ephemera folio was upside down and everything just fell out. Well, that's not cool. 
So I did, uh, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm very, very sad. Let me gather these things, please. I am sorry, but I feel like I can't just leave them sitting there. That's going to make me absolutely nuts. So the entire time the doctor was working on me, I was gripping, I mean, literally like death gripping the blanket that they had over the top of me with both hands. I, I was grasping so hard. That's mostly everything except the couple that dropped on the floor. Well, I know what I'm going to be doing later today, tonight, while sitting in front of TV. So I, um, what was I saying? So I was totally 100% aware of what he was doing 100% of the time. N not a fun experience. And I, I don't want to freak anybody else out. Like I said, everybody else I've ever spoken to has said that they were not aware that everything went smooth. There was no big deal. They weren't freaked out. And their doctors all gave them plenty of anesthesia to get through it without being freaked. Me, on the other hand, I went in for my follow-up appointment on Tuesday and made it very clear that when he does the next eye, <laughs> my anxiety level was so high, he better put me under a lot better. And he apologized. He said, now that he looks back on it, because it was only the day before, so he remembered. Because, you know, these guys, they do these things, and they just whip through them because they've done millions of them, right? Well, maybe not millions, but they've done so many of them. They just whip through them. They don't think about it. But I, um, I made him quite aware that I was quite aware the entire time, and I didn't appreciate it. So... Yeah, there was that. I like that. Now this is, like I said, this is going to go, where is it? <laughs> where to go? I can't see. This is going to go on a page, kind of like this. And I might put it like in the center or closer to the top so more of the bulk isn't, so all of the bulk isn't always at the bottom. And then I'll put a little tag in there. And we'll be able to uh, put a tab on it and pull it out. And that'll take care of the that white page there. And you could still sort of write on the edges if you wanted to. Or on the tag that's going to go in it. I like that. Let's do that now. Let's just glue that right around. And I, uh, yeah. I also went in on Tuesday. Um because they want it with the specialized lenses. The doctor wants to see you not the same day that you've had your surgery done. Oh, that's not good. I forgot about that. Oh, shoot. I didn't glue this whole thing because I was going to sew it. No, oh, Martha. Um, paper towel. Oh, my goodness. What did I do? I'm going to take this glue off because I forgot I was going to sew that. Around the edge, because when I glued the page together, I didn't um, didn't glue it thoroughly. And, and I think I want to sew around that anyway. So I'm just going to leave these. I'm not going to stick these in the book at the moment. Okay. So that's one done. Where's my done pile? We'll put the done pile over there. <laughs> but it blends in, so I can't really see it. Oh, funny, funny. Okay. So, yeah. So, um... I could barely see anything on Tuesday. It, it was a very, it was like there was a, a white film over my eyes. Now, if you've had cataracts, you know that's what happens. You, paste it, you basically get a white film over your eyes, and that's why they change it, because your vision becomes very cloudy and very, this isn't really working. Not dark enough. Now I'm getting warm. Um, your vision gets very cloudy and and you have a more trouble seeing. You need more lights on and you need more, you know, more help with things. 
can't see things as well as clearly and all that. Driving. Driving was driving was getting very stressful for me. And I'm not that old. I'm 63. I don't think that's old. And a lot of my friends haven't had theirs done until they're 70 or older. But I was having trouble. It was interfering with my everyday life. And I wasn't happy. <laughs> so I needed to do something about it. And so I did. And I have to be honest, my anxiety about the next one is pretty high after what I went through with the first one. So I'm not sure how that's going to go next Monday. I'm going to have to use my lavender oil. I'm going to have to use my CBD oil. I'm going to have to really, you know, be an advocate for myself. Oh, that's going to be upside down. Oh, I'm not having luck. That's going to be upside down. I wonder, well, let's see it. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> let's see what I can do with this. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yep, that'll be upside down. I guess I could use it this way. It wouldn't be so bad, huh? All right, and I'll do another one right side up. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> Lord Martha. Okay. So I have to put that on the back like that. Right. Right, right. Okay. So, um, but I did that. I did that for the first one. And my, my surgery was, I had to be in there at noon. But they didn't take me in until like 1.30. So, Yeah. And so the white cloud, okay, let me make sure I do this right side up. Sorry, have to concentrate. So they told me when I went in and I said, you know, all I'm seeing is white. I really, I really couldn't see. Uh, they did an eye test and, and my vision was very bad. <laughs> very, very bad. And I think they were a little frightened <laughs> because they made me come back on Thursday and the doctor said, if this does not improve dramatically by Thursday, we're not doing the other eye next Monday. And I'm like, uh, no, not an option. I can't walk around with one eye all wonky and the other eye I can't see out of. And he's like, well, you got to improve then. That's up to you. Okay, so all of these I need to put something else on. I want them a little more textured. So this is going to go that way. This is going to go that way. And let's see. Maybe we'll put I need some I need some fabric. I don't know. I'm hoping I'm on screen. So yeah, so um I know I'm rambling and I really apologize. It's been two weeks since I did a video. I, I can't I'm having a tough time, guys. So I hope you bear with me. I need Oi. My <laughs> I'm not organized. My fabric bits are all over the place. Because I'm working on many things at once. Before I had the surgery, I started making little fabric snippets. And oh my goodness, I'm ha I, I was having so much fun doing that. And um, he sort of blends in too much, huh? And... Now I'm sad because working up close is very hard. Now I will say, after my surgery, on Monday, the next one, the next surgery. Hmm, I should be able to um, 
after a few days, I can get cheaters or readers or whatever you want to call them, the, the you know, magnifying reading glasses you can buy in the stores, Walmart, Dollar Tree, if you're in the States, you know, that kind of thing. I like that one. I got to cut it out a little more. These are all stickers. And because I've been trying them with um, my right eye, but the problem is if I if I take my regular glasses off, the, the trifocals, and I put readers on, they don't work for my left eye because the astigmatism hasn't been fixed yet. So that's the other thing that they fixed with this multifocal lens. So the multifocal lens, let me educate you on contact on uh, cataract surgery lenses. They make three kinds of lenses. This is probably boring as all heck for anybody who doesn't care. Um, but you can turn the sound down. <laughs> and just watch me craft if you want to. People said they like seeing me craft, so I'm hoping that's true. I, I don't have a, um, a lot of self-confidence, and I never thought anybody would want to watch me craft. Um, because, you know... As Rachel, my my favorite saying she has is, decisions are the worst. And she is so right. I don't like this. All right, give me a second. I, I got to walk over here. Okay, I am back. I, I am. I'm right here. These are my bins with fabric in them. So, well, not really. They're not my bins with fabric in them. They, they do have fabric, but see, I was putting, like, snippet thingies together. All right, we're going to take some, oops, take some of this out. This is, um, I have a sewing book project going. I, I, I mean, a needle book. A needle book project going. I have um, the little snippet things going. And... Of course, I can't really do any of that right at the moment because seeing is seeing up close is challenging. Seeing distances is challenging. Although I am driving. I know, scary thought, right? <laughs> yeah. So, the story about cataract lenses. Yeah, I like that. The story about cataract lenses is that... Um, there's three types of lenses, well, with variations. So you get a basic lens. They just take out your lens, put the other lens back in. Okay? Easy peasy. You probably, if you wore glasses before, you're going to have to wear glasses again. Just like you did before surgery. Which is fine. Some people don't care, don't mind. Um, as, as the doctor said, I didn't say this. This is what I was told. If you're the kind of person who's, you know, older and you don't do a whole lot, you're not a, you know, not a crafter, not a maker, you, um, watch TV, you know, you, you don't go out a lot, you maybe don't drive, you're older, like, you know, 80s, 90s and not very active. Those lenses are fine. You, you just put, you know, you just get the correct this is a sticker so I got to take the sticker paper off the back challenging <laughs> especially since I can barely see close one eye open the other eye and so you can get the the basic lens and basically your your health insurance usually pays for that so you don't pay anything for that then you can get the basic lens, but they call it a toric lens, and it helps the astigmatism. So it'll correct the astigmatism, and you'll more than likely, the, these are their words, not mine, more than likely not need distance lenses, but you will more than likely need readers. Or... You can opt to 
have one eye distance, one eye close up. And my eye doctor who's doing the surgery, that's how his eyes are. <laughs> you know, makes me a little nervous when he's doing surgery. And this guy is not any spring chicken either. I'm going to sew around these two. I think I'm going to sew around all of this ephemera um, just because I'm enjoying doing that at this point in time. So you can have one distance, one close-up lens. And the toric will adjust for any astigmatism. But you may still need readers. There's no guarantees. No guarantees with any of the surgeries. Okay. So then the other thing that you can have is a multifocal lens. And the multifocal lens, the concept behind it, which they are fairly new, um, and the concept behind it is that you can see at all ranges. So you can see distance, you can see close up, and you can see mid-range, if they work, <laughs> if they do the right thing. And then on top of that, if you have astigmatism like I do, which isn't, I was told it's not awful, but it was enough to actually, so let's see. This one is going to go that way. This one's going to go this way. Um, so if you need the astigmatism fixed, then you have to get the torque, which I believe is like it. it they fix the axis and it's weighted on one side or whatever. Uh, I don't know. And then, so I opted for that one. That's, that's the one I wanted. My goal, hopefully, is to not need glasses for most of what I do. Very pretty. But I want to glue this down first. And, I mean, if I need readers for, you know, I don't know, small print, like on a pill bottle or something, I'm okay with that. I was trying to avoid having to pull out readers or, like some people I know, have to wear them around their neck. I, I really don't want to do that. I don't want to wear my, my glasses as a piece of jewelry. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> I mean, bless everybody who does it. I just, that's not what I want to do. I was hoping this surgery. See, originally I went in to the eye doctor to see if I could have LASIK surgery. And they all said, oh, no, no, because you have cataracts. They're not horrible yet, but at some point you're going to need cataract surgery, and you might as well just get it done then. Well, laser surgery would have taken care of all of the problems that I wanted to take care of, except the cataracts. And then eventually down the road you have cataract surgery. This was my thought process. You have the cataract surgery, and... That would take care of the cataracts. Nope, doesn't work that way either. <laughs> Common sense says that would work, but nope, they said nope, doesn't work that way. If you have LASIK surgery and then have your cataracts taken out, you may still need to wear glasses or whatever. Anyway, so I was like, darn. Yeah, I can't win. So. I opted for the multifocal lens, and the multifocal lens, what it is, is um, they, it looks like this. It's a lens with all these minute circles on it. And when he put it in my eye, when he started putting it in, <laughs> don't get freaked out, but when he started putting it, I could actually see the circles on the lens. I can't see them now. And you don't see them like in everyday life, but it takes the, I've, I've heard it can take three to six months for your eyes to totally heal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Again, not excited because, you know, three to six months is a long time for me. What am I going to do with this one? I don't know why I made that one. These are the pockets that probably won't work. 
and my other things are buried because, you know, I spilt everything. Um, okay, I know I had more pages out than that. <laughs> what happened to them? Here they are. Okay. All right. So I think I was going to make this a pocket like in this direction so that the top was a little bit supported. Let's pull something a little lighter out. Ooh, look! Fits perfectly. Right side up. There is writing on this. So I'm going to put that right side up. Yes! Love it when it comes together, even though you didn't expect it to. So, um... Where's this one? And... On top of that, in this area here in Virginia, I don't know about anywhere else, my friend in Ohio paid like, I don't know, $2,400 for hers. But that doesn't include the surgery surgery costs. That's just the lens. $2,400 per lens. So altogether, mine is like $6,000. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> $6,000 for two lenses. And I still can't see 100%. I'm hoping that changes. I, I truly am hoping all right, that that changes at some point and that I'm not um, in need of distance lenses or, you know, closer up lenses. I am truly hoping that... I'm going to cut that off. That if I need readers, you know, to hand sew or whatever, I'm okay with that. I just don't want to have to wear glasses that end up being for distance and close up and blah, 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 blah. So I can see, I can see these words, but boy, it's blurry. But it's blurry if I shut my right eye and look through my left eye, too. But I was hoping that it would change. But it's only been a week. And I have to keep reminding myself, patience is a virtue. It's only been a week. <laughs> my friend said that after 10 days, hers was still not 100%, but she was much happier with the outcome after 10 days. So... You know, there's that. So I, I really am trying to be patient. It's hard. It's frustrating. There's things I want to do. You know, I want to make things, and I don't want to struggle while making them. So I have my glasses off, because if I put my glasses on, my depth perception is really interesting. <laughs> now, if I'm just looking off in the distance, I'm good. If I'm just looking off in the distance, it's fine. I'm okay. Oops. See, I saw that thread on there. But if I am... I like that. If I am um, moving from distance to close up to distance to close up, I just take my glasses off. Not driving. <laughs> I have to have them on for driving. But, yeah, so it, it's, it's been interesting. Let's just put it that way. And, of course, I didn't put my pin in, so my glue is stopped up. Of course. Oh. All right, close the operative eye. Still can't get it in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. So next week, I'm probably going to be out of commission for another week because my right eye... Still isn't a hundred percent, hundred, hundred percent focused. My left eye is going to be very wonky because they're doing the same thing to the left eye that they did to the right eye. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. So probably another week where I won't drive. Although, when I went in Thursday. I couldn't see a thing on Tuesday. And like I said, they were worried. So was I. <laughs> but, you know, when the doctor and the tech worries, that's not a good thing. All right, let's put that up there. 
Um, but they said to be patient and to, to wait and see what was going to happen. I want something else on here. Now, I haven't used mushrooms. I've been using butterflies and flowers, so I don't think I want to go with the mushroom root all of a sudden. So, let's see. I want this guy here. So, um, Thursday when I went in, everybody was way more pleased. Uh, the technician was like holding his breath as I read the, the eye chart. And I could actually read a bit up close which I couldn't do at all before, like like I was legally blind as far as that was concerned. Um, and I could see distance enough that they said that with that eye, I would pass the driver's test for vision. So there was that. <laughs> that, was, that was encouraging. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I have to go back Friday. And because the doctor is out of the States, he won't be back till Saturday from Honduras. I have to go back and see the tech. And he has to make sure that he feels comfortable telling the doctor that, yes, I can have the surgery on the other eye. That things have improved enough that I can have surgery on my left eye. And it's okay that I will not be walking around blind. So if you all want to keep your fingers crossed for me and send positive thoughts, that would be absolutely wonderful. I don't know. Do I want my, um, cheesecloth under this? <gasps> oh, I know what I want. Hold on. Hold that thought. This is some fabric that I have in my, can you see it? I have this fabric in my, I'm going to get really close, in my shop right now. And it's like, it's cheesecloth-y, but it's a much thicker, um, tighter weave of cheesecloth. And I, I love it. And I've been making ruffles, and I've been using it on stuff. And I just really love it. I've been having a lot of fun with fabric lately. Rachel. Our Rachel at Roxy Creations has really encouraged me, unbeknownst to her, but she has encouraged me a lot to get, get busier with my fabrics. I love what she does, and I love fabrics as well. I don't have the ex the the sewing um, expertise that Rachel has. She makes some beautiful things, and one of the things that I want to make is one of her. Um, she did. I won't talk about my eyes anymore. I, I hope I won't bore you anymore with that. How far along am I? Gosh, forty three minutes already. How does that happen? I didn't get anything done. Ah! Can't get the sticker off. I hate stickers. <laughs> Why did I do this? I should have taken one of my other things out that's not a sticker. So Rachel is doing these Christmas gifts, this series on making quick and easy Christmas gifts and she made these like pouches like pencil type pouches interesting look at this the back of this sticker is a lot darker than the front of the sticker that it was printed on isn't that interesting I think that's interesting and and I want to do that but I gotta go buy some zippers oop, oop. stuck to my hand Ooh, pretty. Oops. And I, I'm gonna sew around all of these, so they'll they'll look look pretty. I use a very um, neutral thread though, so it's not gonna make a big difference. 
but because I like to sew around them. Um, because Rachel, Rachel has, I think this is going to be another pocket. Pin, put the pin in it. So yeah, so I, I just thought that I would turn the camera on. Hopefully everybody is okay with that. I know this was a boring video and I apologize. And if, if you didn't like it, please don't give me a thumbs down. <laughs> just turn it off. Ignore me. Just don't pay me any mind and, and just go on your way. But, um, you know, I'd appreciate it if you didn't give me a thumbs down. Because it's hard. It's really hard to, to do this. And it's hard to get back into it when you've been gone a while. It, it's tricky. It can be tricky. It can be really challenging. So I thought for my first one back, I would just give this a go. I do want to say to everybody, though, everybody that has commented, I want to tell you how very, 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 very much I appreciate the positive comments I have gotten from everybody. It's very encouraging. I am not in any way, shape, or form a confident person. And doing this really, really is a huge challenge for me. I mean, it's tough for me to get in front of the camera. Well, I'm not in front of the camera, but you know what I mean. Even to have my chubby little hands in front of the camera and have... I'm just going to reinforce that edge a little bit. This paper, these pages, book pages are very thin. <laughs> it's a challenge. I really do appreciate your positive comments, your encouragement, and the fact that some people have said they, they liked my one or two craft-alongs I've done. Tutorials... I don't, you know, I don't come up with anything new. I can show you what I've done that somebody else did and and show you my take on it. And I love watching when other people do that. Rachel, Rachel, I watched a video, this two videos, last night and this morning, where she, um, where she actually did this pouch thing out of page protectors. And if y'all know, I make those, those ephemera folios and I use page protectors. So I have a ton of page protectors. And she followed a tutorial that someone else did, um, which she does link to, but this person's name is Robin, R-O-B-E-N, and um, if you're interested, I can link Rachel below, and you can see what she did, but um, yeah, she made these little pouches and made a file folder with a gusset and a, a little pouch to put the pouches in, and it was quite cute. Now, I probably won't do that one because I don't have a use for it at this point in time, but it's something I'm going to keep in my arsenal to uh, keep an eye on. And yes, I could have cut out the piece of paper with this butterfly in it and used that, but I wanted the, the layering, the texture. Where is... I want this. Nah. I don't know. That's not working for me today. Let's see... Alright, I'm going to use some of this muslin. I also am going to be putting some... I have some tea dyed muslin that I tea dyed myself. And then there's this bit. Oh, where'd this pink thing come from? Um, that... Hmm. 
I bought this tea dyed muslin and I'm going to be listing that in my shop soon too. All right, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah. Can't decide. Yeah, it's going to go that way. So I've been having fun with fabric, fun making ruffles, fun putting some fabric in my shop, and fun. Is this a sticker? Oh, goodness. No, it's not because I it, it was paper that I cut out. <laughs> ah, how short the memory is. Yeah. Oh, yay, yay. Here we go. And um, so anyway, I do really greatly, wholeheartedly appreciate the support you all have given me. I can't even... Without tearing up, I can't go into details, but some of you have been so, so positive and supportive. And it's just a joy to think that anybody, anybody, one person maybe, is inspired by anything I do or my attitude or my channel or the things I make. It just makes me happy. It just really brings joy to my life. So I do, I do really appreciate it. I like that one. So really, I only got these made. <laughs> I am not a, a, a quick crafter. So I'm going to sew around these. Maybe I'll put a picture at the end of the video. And these are going to go, you know, like I said, in here, like this one I may put here. And then have a tag sticking out. Of course, I gotta make the tag now. And then this one uh, would go here. And just have a little corner tuck in there. And then this one I would probably put somewhere back here. Maybe hide it in this little hidey spot here could go that way or it could go that way and have a little tag in there and then still have lots of writing room. Yep. And then this little pocket I might put, hmm, where am I going to put you? It's too big. Well, that stinks. <laughs> I may have to cut this down a little on each side, but that's okay. I can do that. Yeah, it's too big. But we'll, we'll just, this one will fit. This is a pocket too. And maybe we'll put that there. Or we'll put this in here. Yep, I think I would put it in there. And then that would still fold around and there'd be a tag in there. And I think I'd put a tall tag in it. Tall skinny one. And that's it. That's all I have. Right? Yeah. So those will go in there fine. And then the rest of them I'm leaving because I think it's wonderful writing space. So I think that works. So I will put pictures at the end or maybe what I'll do is just do another video and um, show the finished product. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So thank you for everybody for joining me. Um, like I said, I really, I really do appreciate your, your positivity and your appreciation for you know what I do not that I do anything special I'm 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 no Gail I'm no Rachel that's for sure um but I really appreciate you all joining me and being a part of my little online family and I will be back hopefully sooner rather than rather than later this time so everybody take care happy crafting i absolutely love and adore every one of you you've been so nice to me and kind to me i appreciate it have a great crafty day a great crafty week hope everybody's doing well take care of yourselves bye everybody hugs <laughs>